What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. Uh, we're starting live. We're going to give it a couple minutes uh, as people start showing up. But it's here. It is here. Finally. It is here, and it's finally mine. We got the smooth, the smooth four. So many S's. So we got the smooth four over here. We got it in the mail. Um, I would say about a day and a half ago ish. Um, and we're about to open it up. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna do. Hey, bro, dog. What's going on? That's awesome. Thank you for joining up, man. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot for coming by, fam. Fam, good old, yeah, I remember you, man. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate it. I'm um, not gonna lie, guys. I was thinking for the past uh, one and a half, maybe two days, um, of doing a more cinematic unboxing. Maybe I do a video where I notify you guys that I'm gonna be uploading uh, and opening uh, the smooth, uh, the smooth four. But I decided, you know what? Let's just do it. Um, I'm very limited on time. Uh, I'm going to go to New York City on Wednesday night, and I'm going to definitely got uh, capture a lot of B-roll, a lot of testing in New York City and in Philadelphia, which I'm super stoked about. So, yeah, I figured I'd share this moment with you guys, open this up, and if you guys have any questions along the way, I'll answer them. Uh, hey there, like your Mobile 2 reviews. Thank you so much, uh, Rob Fuss. I appreciate that. Thank you for taking the time and hanging out with me today. Yeah, it's right here, dude. Boat nut, uh, I got the smooth four as anticipated. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to smooth uh, Xi Yung, the company that makes the smooth four. They actually send this to me. How crazy is that? Uh, they sent it to me to open and share and create some content for you guys. Um, bro, dot, how's life uh, going? It's going great, man. A lot of busy uh, times, a lot of busy times. Uh, my birthday was on the 21st, uh, two days ago. That's why I haven't post it as much as I wanted to, because I also wanted to kind of like decompress a little bit and talk to my wife, hang out with her and all that good stuff. So, so the smooth four, uh, right now it's retailing for 139. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I do have a link on the bio. I don't know if this chat allows me to drop a link here, but if you want to keep, uh, if you want to keep an eye on it, here is a link. Let me try see if it works. Yay. There it is. I think it works. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you, Rob, uh, Rob. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to New York. Teach brother, teach. <laughs> hey, what's up, Omar? How's it going, man? Uh, I would like a comparison between the Smooth 4 and the Osmo Mobile 2, and that is what you're going to get. Uh, I'm I'm aiming to do a comparison video in Central Park. Whoo, I'm so excited. I can't wait to start working. Let's open this up. Let's open this up, because uh, I'm stoked. It's been sitting here on my counter. Yeah, there we go. And uh, it's been calling my name. I just realistically haven't had too much time um, to focus on other things. I've been working. I had that little birthday thing going on. Just say I'm not that much of a savage. I just opened it up from the side over here. So if you buy it online, the package seems like it's pretty flush. And here we go. Let's take a look at this. Uh... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Woo, look at that. That's awesome. And I think, I don't know if this is inverted because I'm using the front. I don't know. I don't know if you guys see it properly, but that is the front, that it's the back. QR codes, smooth four. Now this, they sent me this straight uh, from China. So I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised if, if you order from Amazon or somewhere else and you actually get uh, English lettering. I don't know. Let's see what's up. Before I open this back boy up, let's see what's up. Uh, Omar, I'm doing great, man. Uh, just hustling, working, working a lot, creating some content, just having fun, man. Having a lot of fun, nonstop. <laughs> uh, is it for your birthday gift as yourself? Good to you. Uh, Shahan, uh, uh, Ji Yoon, which is the company that makes the Smooth Q, the Smooth 4, the Crane, they actually sent this to me. Uh, We've been talking for a little while, and they decided to share this with me. So shout out to them uh, for hitting me up. And it's a fantastic birthday gift, uh, none the least. We're excited for you, too. Thank you, Bona. I appreciate you taking the time. We're in class. <laughs> Craig, you're killing me. Shh, we're in class. Hello. Hey, what's going on, guys? 
Thank you. That was that was uh, satisfying. It's beauty. Yeah, and I'm surprised because it looks like a massive gimbal. So I thought the packaging was going to be bigger, but it's not. It's actually thinner than the DJI Osmo Mobile's uh, packaging. Very similar to the Smooth Q. Um, cutting the bucks like cutting cake. Absolutely, man. Taking the time. When does the new album come out? Jeremy, uh, the album is almost done tracked for those who uh, don't know. Um, I do music. I'm a musician. So I'm a singer in the realm of metal music. <laughs> Actually, this is my band shirts. Uh, ironically, I had it on today. We're called the Mirage Theory. Um, so yeah, a couple things coming down the line, uh, but the album's almost done. We have like, I have to track like three, two, two or three more songs and that's it. Um, looking forward to seeing how the focus feature works. Absolutely. I'm too. Dear Gamer and Apathetic still working together. Uh, don't you? They do. I've decided to focus a lot more on these things, uh, stabilizing and photography. I just feel that it's my forte. Um, and I want to do this very carefully, but yeah, the dear gamer are still doing it. I'm still gaming currently playing God of War. And I'm actually thinking of, uh, probably tonight when I come back from work of doing a Twitch stream. So for those of you who have Twitch on my channel, you can actually find my link. It's twitch.com forward slash EMT film, I think. And yeah, so we took the packaging off. I love to smell things. How many of you like to smell things when you open it, like brand new things like packaging technology and stuff like that? Yeah, Craig, it's progressive metal. It's uh, kind of like between the bird and me, uh, a little bit of a little bit of gent here and there, periphery. So it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I'll be looking forward to seeing you on Twitch. Totally, bro. Uh, I think I'm going to squeeze one playthrough tonight just to hang out. So those of you who are into gaming, I'm going to be Twitch streaming probably tonight. I would say around 9 p.m. Pacific time. I would say 9, 10. So keep an eye out for that. EMT Films. Um, before we open this guy up, check me out on Instagram because I'm going to be posting a lot of behind-the-scenes stories as I'm filming in New York City. So you might be able to catch a thing or two that's not in the video because, you know, stories, quick, pop in and out. It's a lot of fun. It's quick stuff. All right. So automatically I'm seeing that this guy has uh, similar packaging to the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. And I'm going to slide this guy a little bit. Oh, something fell out of the box. But look at that. It's actually pretty nice. It's foam, similar to the Osmo Mobile 2. There's nothing else in the box. And then we got a card over here. It's 100% in Chinese. So I'm going to have to use an app to dissect this. Maybe there's some valuable information. Maybe there isn't. But I, I consider myself a, a, a you know, well-versed gimbal operator. So we'll figure it out. So we got the Z, Z Yung over here. We're going to open this guy up. And, oh, they gave me the black model. That's good. Look at that. Woo. All right, before I go and proceed, um, I do with my Esmo cam and make sure it didn't do the unboxing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't like when people open my stuff. Have you ever bought like a phone or like something at a store and they want to open, a, a, open it up for you? I hate that. I love to open my stuff. I love to, oh, the smell of new. How awesome. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Nelson? How you doing, man? Yeah, I got it. Told you. Uh, Zhi Yun, big ups to Zhi Yun, uh, the company that makes uh, the Smooth Q, the Smooth 4. They actually send this to me. So definitely uh, uh, I appreciate if somebody from Zhi Yun is watching this. More videos are going to be coming from New York City. Uh, I'm going to do a comparison between the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. Maybe I squeeze in uh, uh, five reasons why I like this gimbal, uh, similar to what I did uh, on the uh, Smooth Mobile. But from the get-go, I'm seeing something that I'm liking very much, and that is that it includes a little tripod. So how awesome is this that this comes with a tripod and it feels pretty sturdy? Definitely not as sturdy as the, uh, the Manfrotto one. But guess what? This is consolidation 2000 and whatever because now I can just vlog with my phone and hold it like this. And I can multi-purpose this because it's a little bit smaller with my other gimbals. 
So this might be my new default man, uh, tripod. I just have to test it before because I love the Manfrotto. Manfrotto tripod's on the link. Uh, it's 25 bucks, 20 bucks. But this actually seems pretty sturdy. So big ups, it comes with a little tripod. That is fantastic. All right, we got our USB. <gasps> USB type C cable. So I can charge it straight with my MacBook Pro right now. How awesome is that? You see guys, when they decided to make USB-C computers uh, from a certain fruit company. Everybody was raging about, oh, they changed the port again. Well, this is the reason why. USB-C is a future. I approve it. I love it. Um, it's fast, crazy fast, especially if you're doing Thunderbolt 3, but that's a whole different conversation. Let's see the comments here. Um, the case looks like the Osmo. Yes, it does. My mom keeps opening. <laughs> I hate that, Omar. I hate that. Sweet tripod, yeah, it's a very nice uh, sweet tripod, Rob. Seems more professional than Osmo too. It, it actually has a really nice finish to it. Like it doesn't feel as plasticky as the Osmo Mobile 2. Uh, I do like the Osmo Mobile 2 very much, but this is actually looking really good. Really, really good. Um, nice and small, I have four Manfrotto's. Um, Rock Fuzz, Manfrotto, I, I love that little tripod. I actually have a Groove Gear bag. This is my backpack. Groove Gear is one of my favorite gear companies. They make a lot of equipment for musicians and stuff like that. And I happen to have the, uh, I think that, I forget the name of this backpack, but I have my Osmo with me at all times. And then I have my Manfrotto tripod. But if we compare the footprint of this thing, it's slightly and it looks really similar. Now the cool thing about this is that if this is fully open, this one actually opens up wider and it's lower to the ground. So it's like, you know, I would say consuming a lot less space if you have a backpack like this. But yeah, uh, totally love Groove Gear. This is where I have all my stuff. Um, computer, it's uh, TSA approved as well. So yeah, that's my Groove Gear bag. All right, let's keep opening the uh, Zhi Yun over here. Uh, yeah, that's the future. USB-C is awesome, man. Thunderbolt 3 is super fast. I'm currently using uh, – I'm actually going to unplug this. I'm currently using an SSD drive um, that's USB-C on my computer. Uh, I'm able to transfer super quick uh, – very, very fast on it. I think right now it supports uh, – I think it's like over 480 uh, megabytes per second read-write. It's a bunch of fast stuff. But here it is, guys. Ah, uh, woo -wee. It is definitely more solid. Now I'm gonna grab the foam and the cable I'm gonna keep here. I'm not gonna throw that. Um, but guys, this feels so sturdy, so good. And it's a massive gimbal. It is a massive gimbal. Now I really like the material it feels sturdier than the Osmo Mobile 2. Now, just so you guys have a, a a comparison point, this is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, and this is the Smooth Mobile. So, if I stand them side to side, if I stand both of them side to side, look at that. This is a way bigger gimbal, even when it's fully extended like that. The Smooth. Four, it's going to be way larger. Having said that, the material feels a little bit sturdier. Not going to lie. I love the Osmo Mobile 2. It's a fantastic gimbal um, for pretty much everyone. But I feel that DJI went a little bit more for the uh, mass consumer, average consumer trying to get into the game. Uh, while Zhi Yun decided, hey, you know what? Let's actually go for the prosumer maybe or for you know seasoned aficionados so this is how it looks in the front guys uh, we have the dial over here this allows you to switch modes record button a um, couple different modes you can switch um, we'll definitely go in depth on that you have to, you actually have a dedicated power on button shutter that seems like focus I take a little bullseye there a little display button here and the menu button right there. And then, of course, the sweet dial that serves as a focus or zoom. So I'm super stoked to test this out. Now, the wheel rotates. 
but then it also clicks. So you can change your exposure compensation over here. Um, this is a play button, I guess. Uh, and this might be a, I don't know what that is. I have to figure that out. But guys, in the back, we have two triggers. We have a trigger in the top and a trigger at the bottom. So there's like a multi-toggle situation going up and down right here. Um, I'm super excited. I'm pretty hyped. And for what it looks, oh, this the, the build up here. This is actual metal. This is actual metal up here. The whole arm, this is all metal. That's a little bit, is it metal? How do I know it's metal? Hmm, I think it's metal. Because this is definitely not metal. You can hear it. Yeah, this is definitely some sort of metal with metal frame, I would say. But it's very light. I would say it's aluminum, maybe. Aluminum. Um, guys, at the bottom over here, there's a charger port. That way you can charge your device. I mean, there it is right here. So you can charge your device at the same time. And it has a locking mechanism. So right now it's sitting straight like this. And then you can actually lock it in place for better storage. Um, US, uh, I'm sorry, I was going to say USB port, uh, quarter inch screw, 20 thread mount for tripods as usual. And then of course the rotation, it's not a hundred, uh, percent 360, right? Like the, uh, smooth Q it definitely caps. I believe this is about 320, 330 degrees. Um, the same thing will happen on the side over here. You will have a limit that will be the rotation limit, but it seems like a pretty decent amount of rotation. So. I'm going to put my phone real quick, fire it up, set it up, um, and just give you my first impression. But before we do that, um, yeah, you know what? Let's try it. Uh, Rufus, uh, let's try it. I have my phone over here. Let me put this sucker on airplane mode. That way nobody bothers me if someone calls me. And uh, I'm using iPhone 10, of course. And once again, we're going to do live balance, guys. This is pretty exciting. Actually, one of my favorite parts of setting up the gimbal is just the balance portion of it. I don't know why, but it's a little satisfying. It's, there we go. So I'm going to lock this guy in place. So we got some, eh, let's go back again. All right. While we're doing this, I feel the Osmo 2 is pretty big. <laughs> are the motors more stronger? Uh, the motors are actually pretty similar, I believe. Uh, taking a look at their website, I'm looking around here for the for the Smooth 4. Ta -ta 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 -ta. It's got a 12-hour battery life. Uh, you have the ability to zoom and do all that fun stuff. I'm trying to look at the tech specs over here. Um, but it says that it supports a payload up to 210 grams. So that is uh, similar to the DJI Osmo Mobile Q. Absolutely. All right. So this is pretty gnarly balance right there, at least on the side. It's pretty good. And then now let's balance this piece over here. Similar to the other gimbals, you can actually rotate, kind of like push this piece up or down. So I'm going to find pretty good balance here, a little bit more this way. There we go. So it stays balanced that way, stays balanced that way. Cool. Awesome, guys. So I don't know. Maybe it's charged. Maybe it isn't. Um, the knob looks really awesome, Rob. Somebody just ordered a Smooth Q, and now there's a four. <laughs> Anyways, love watching your videos. Keep up the good work. Um, Ella, it, it all comes down to what you're using it, because this, for for what it is, is a new gimbal. But it might not be the best gimbal for everyone. Um, the Smooth Q gives you uh, the full 360 spins. So if you're remotely considering doing some sort of GoPro things or vlogging with it, you might actually have a really good experience with it. Um, Smooth Q is really good. I have actually in this bag over here, in this box over here, I have my extra two gimbals. I have the Smooth Q there and the Smooth Mobile, um, which are fantastic contenders. I just love these things, right? So we got balance that way. We got balance this way. Let's go ahead and open up the app before I have to go to work. And I'm, I have the Smooth, the ZY Play app going on and I'm going to fire this guy and see what's up. It does have a little bit of battery and it's on. Look, it's stabilizing already. Yeah. And I don't know if this does the same way of clicking, clicking, no, connect your device. 
smooth four. Oh, I'm connecting, guys. I'm connecting, guys. I'm so stoked. Oh, I'm connected. Ooh, and it looks so clean. The interface looks – oh, it looks so good. Check this out. Check this out. You can probably see me here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the dial over here, wide angle, and telephoto. So cool. So you can pull the vertigo shots. So the whole idea is that, for example, as you're zooming in, if you were to zoom in, a vertigo shot allows you to go back out while you're going in. Like, no, I think I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I had to do this and then do like zoom in as I was leaving. So it's really hard to replicate over here, but I'm definitely going to do this in New York City. But wow, uh, it feels really good. Right now it's in the uh, uh, pen follow mode, which is, oh, that, I guess that's what that means, the PF uh, right up here, pen follow mode, locked mode. It's literally locked in place. You know what? I like that they have a switch over here because sometimes you're struggling trying to remember what is the lock mode, what is the pen follow mode. I like that. I, I This is new. I haven't seen that in other gimbals. And once say USB-C life over here. That's so cool. I can charge it with my computer cables, man. All right. Oh, yep. Bottom trigger. So if you were to uh, rotate the gimbal, let's say I do something like this. And then I lock it in place. If I double click here. Oh, no, it's just the one. Yeah, it's just the one. And it goes back to the center. So just the one click. So zoom, zoom. Dude, it is so robotic and so, so sharp. And then what about the one on the top over here? Oh, <gasps> holy crap. This is fast. So if you hold the trigger in the back, the top one, you see there's a, there's a top trigger over here and there's a bottom here. The bottom one will allow you to return home to the original position. So if I were to look that way, I press the bottom part of the trigger, zoom, and it goes that way super fast. If I am in pan, pan follow, it's pretty fast, significantly fast, very normal. But if I hold down the trigger in the top, look how quick it responds. It's like zoom, 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 zoom. Damn, this is so cool. With the click of a button, you can actually switch between cameras right here. So it's going to be this one in the dial that allows you to rotate. So you simply click. And that way you don't have to click, click. You don't have to rotate it multiple times. This is so cool. Um, let's see the one. The bottom is for playing. So uh, when you press this guy over here, there's like a little play button there. That way you can review your footage. It opens up the menu so you can see the footage. And you can kind of like rotate this up and down and see what's up. I like that. It's kind of like a DSLR. Super cool. And then, oh, okay. The button at the top, the little three dot situation over here gives you access to all the modes. So your resolution, flash, manual mode. Whoo, look at that. And you can use the wheel to rotate between the different modes like like, how crazy is that, guys? Like, this is so useful to switch on the fly. And guess what, my people? 4K 60 FPS in the app. I don't no longer have to go to the native app on the freaking phone. This makes me so happy, man. This makes me so happy. You have no idea. So right now it supports 4K 60 it supports a 1080 60, which is typically what I shoot at, but now I might do 4K 60. Um, you have HDR photography, filter, scenes, different scenes, similar to the other one. You have the walk in and the motion. And with the dial, you can just simply switch them, which is fantastic. Um, timer, flash. You can do a multiple exposure, long exposure, time lapse, vertigo. Oh, vertigo. Let's select vertigo. Oh, and you can actually have a preset. Whoa. So the vertigo, guys, definitely I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do a full 
review, uh, deep dive into this thing because this is super, super in depth. So just for the uh, for the vertigo shot, there's an actual preset mode that you can adjust and go from point A to point B, similar to what you do on the motion time lapse. But instead of moving, you're just literally zooming in. So it does it on its own. Um, and you can add different waypoints, like and change the autofocus, the the zoom, and the time frame. Like this is pretty robust. Um, I'm getting super hyped right now. So for those of you who are into like you know a little bit more higher level than your traditional smooth mobile, uh, 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 I wouldn't say smooth mobile because that's a little bit higher. Smooth Q, uh, DJI Osmo Mobile. This seems like it's like like. This is like a Ronin, <laughs> like a smaller Ronin for your phone. Um, you have the display button over here, menu button to go back. Now, what about the focus? I want to be able to change the focus with this instead. It does have active tracking. So right now it's tracking me in the computer. Yeah, it's kind of moving a little bit, a little bit further down. Yeah, ish. But I'm trying to figure out how to switch instead of doing zoom with this. How do I do the focus? So what if I were to look at some of these flowers? I have some flowers over here. There we go. We're back in the center. I'm going to tap. If I tap and lock the exposure. No, it's still zoom. So I'm going to have to figure that out for you guys and, and, and see how the whole cookie crumbles but man this feels so good it's super snappy fast especially if you hold the top portion it's like hoom, hoom, hoom. damn i think i'm going to create some really cool transitions with this because it moves so fast wow and it feels really really good it's definitely a big gimbal um let's see it does upside down so we can definitely flip it upside down and record, you know, different crane shots. So it found its way. And then you can also rotate the back part to film in portrait. Wow, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna dissect uh, this and try to figure this out, man, because this is crazy good. Oh, and you have a focus button. I found it. I found it. So if you hold, if you hold the bullseye, take a look what happens. I know you can see over here. I press it. I hold it down. No. It was working for me earlier. Now it's zooming in. There we go. Now you can change the focus. Now I'm in focus. I don't know how you can see that. I'm trying to make this work over here, but you see how I'm in focus right now? And then now I'm not, it's blurry, but my hand's in focus. And then I'm in focus now, but my hand's blurry. Like, like guys, you have no idea how powerful that is. Filmic Pro lets you do this, but you have to actually interact with the phone. And it's sometimes a little bit of a tedious process. And with this, I can just simply press the button and fine tune. Like if I really want to like focus on something and then just slowly pan around and focus on the other thing, I can do that like fishing. Like I'm hyped right now. I'm super excited. Um, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Let's, uh, let's uh, follow up with the comments here. Um, is this Smooth 4 the new Smooth Q? No, I think this is a completely different level as far as uh, gimbals go. This is a little bit more uh, professional, I would say, in the tool set. Smooth Q gives you incredible control, but the focus wheel allows you to be a little bit more precise and focusing and zooming in as well. This is definitely a game changer for me. It looks similar to what a Ronin 2 or Ronin, the small one that DJI released, looks like. This is incredible. I am beyond excited right now with this you have no idea so i'm going to take this to new york city i'm going to take the smooth uh the smooth mobile and i'm going to take the dji awesome mobile i'm going to take the three gimbals to new york city and do a head-to-head -head battle comparison on stability modes all that fun stuff 
Ah, when to be able to charge from uh, my gimbal. You can actually, there is a USB port now. Let me see, how do I do this? Let's see. So I'm gonna do lock mode, follow up here. Uh, I'm trying to, oh, never mind. There's a, there's like a USB port right here. It's a micro USB port. So you should be able to get an adapter and connect that straight to your phone with one of the uh, angled lightning cables. If you haven't seen the uh, lightning cables, I'm dropping a link right now. Maybe that sets you in the right path, um, hopefully. And then that way, you know, it's right there at the bottom. And then that way, hopefully, you'll be able to 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 get some ideas. But you could totally. It seems like you could charge and connect, you know, micro USB and all that fun stuff. You might need a couple of different adapters or something similar. But uh, yeah, USB C uh, charging on the side here, right there. Um, tripod mounts at the bottom. Yep, yep, yep. Um. Yeah, uh, bro. Dot, thank you for hanging out, man. Uh, hope you have a great day and night. Have fun, New York. I'm gonna go ahead. It's almost 1 a.m. here. Whoa, you're from Australia. I forgot that. Yeah, totally, man. Thank you for hanging out. Do you think this move here is going to be a game changer? DJI needs to do better now. I mean, the DJI allows you to do a bunch of really fun stuff. I've been able to, I've been able to do a bunch of cinematic uh, shots with my DJI Osmo Mobile. Um, but as a slowly progressed i feel that i've reached a level that i'm demanding a little bit more as far as cinematography that was that's why i was so excited about the smooth mobile the one that extends uh because it gives you ability to to get a little bit higher a little bit lower just a wider range of motion for jib and crane shots if you haven't seen that video i just uploaded that last night go check it out after this um, just very short, very sweet, two tips on, on how to do crane shots and stuff like that. I also have a, a other videos that do that. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, uh, Nelson, I think it's going to be a game changer. Absolutely. Love the wheel and the focus knob, 4K. Yeah, just 4K60. Originally, you would have to go straight into the phone and do that, um, which was a bummer. Uh, but yeah, now it's built in. Um, let's see what else we got over here. Uh, how much is the smooth, uh, the smooth, Q, uh, the smooth, Q, the smooth, so many S's, uh, the smooth four is 139. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I had the Amazon link right over here. I'm going to drop it again in the conversation. If you guys want to check it out, uh, do, 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 do. go back to YouTube. Here we go. I'm dropping the link on the Smooth 4. Um, check it out. It's I, I feel it's really good. I think it's 139 straight from uh, GU. Um, why at 60 FPS? I love to shoot at 60 frames per second because it allows me to capture um, a little bit higher frame rate than 30 or 24, just in case I want to slow down things um, for random slow-mo or reversal or something like that. The higher the frame rate, technically, uh, the more frames you're going to have. Think of it as drawing stick man uh, on a notebook. The more pages, the better motion. So I often shoot at 60 and then I render everything at 24, you know, accordingly. So it all comes down to the, to the scene. Um, since I'm vlogging, I'm running and gone in, I, I want to be able to capture as much as possible. That way I can bring back in slow mos where I've been in situations where I record something at 24 or at 30, and then I'm like, darn, I wish I, I had it at 60 or 120 so I could slow it down. So now you can do all that fun stuff. Um, Omar, uh, your phone <laughs> does shoot 4K videos. Um, you just simply go to the settings. If you have uh, an iOS uh, iPhone, which I, I know you do, so you get to the settings go to the camera uh, setting and you can switch from 720, 1080, you can do 1080, 24, 1080, 30, 1080, 60 on iPhone 8 plus and 10. So you can totally do that. Um, love the zoom. Absolutely, Rob. Uh, Nelson asked, looks like this is more professional. I heard that the app is not that good and it's crashing a lot. Well, so far it hasn't crashed. I have tapped to focus. Um, I have a bunch of options on the screen. I have the preview going on. 
different scene modes. Yeah, I mean, I just got an update a couple days ago of the ZY Play app, so I don't know if they corrected a couple things. I love the fact that they give you they give you the gimbal battery and the phone's battery in the top right here, which is kind of cool. I really, really like those little details. I don't know, man. I feel that they have they have done a really good job with this one uh, as far as their marketing goes and, and just the feature set. It seems complex, but once you run the gauntlet uh, of features, it feels really accessible. Uh, but definitely something for a little bit more experienced uh, uh, users on the gimbal realm. Um, let's see. Is it heavy? Love that wheel. Uh, honestly, I'm... It's not that much heavy, probably just a little bit, but definitely manageable. Um, and I don't know if you noticed, I'm going to I'm gonna put actually the tripod to make sure I don't drop this. Here we go. Open, open, open. Whoa! Dude, it'll look, it looks so cool. Look at that. It is like super nice looking. I really like it. Really like it. Really, really like it. Um, I have this potato phone. This is my mom's Android phone. I bought her a new phone not too long ago, and I kept it just as a prop to be able to kind of like showcase uh, some of the gimbal moves uh, because I don't want to bring my DSLR. I want to be able to use 100% phone. So if I fire this up, now that I have a phone in it, they're pretty similar. They're not too heavy. They're not heavy at all. Like both of them are, even with the little tripod, I'm going to be honest with you. It's kind of weird, but I actually think the Smooth 4 is lighter um, or the same. Yeah, there's not that much different uh, difference in, in weight. It's, it's crazy. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm shocked because this is bigger, but it's not that heavy. So, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. All right, let's see what's up. Let's see what else uh, we got over here. I got to start wrapping it up because I got to go to work. Uh, I would love to do this all day. Believe me, soon we'll get to that point. With your support, we'll definitely get to that point. But in the meantime, um, I, I have to go to work in at one point. I will wait uh, for your comparison of the three gimbals. Absolutely. I'm definitely going to do that. And I'm going to do it from New York City. I cannot wait to do that. I'm super stoked about it. Um, let's see. What do you use uh, for post editing? I'm uh, using Final Cut Pro uh, as of right now. And guys, I do um, I do have footage for the uh, editing video. The thing is that this a New York City trip fell in my lap. It's been brewing for a while, but I fi I'm finally going. It's all settling in and I'm, I'm, I'm literally leaving Wednesday night. Um, and I said, you know what? I want to be able to do that editing video with some awesome, fantastic footage. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some B-roll in New York City with the Smooth 4 and then just repurpose all that, right? I'm going to do the testing, but then I'm also going to do the editing as uh, uh, kind of like a tutorial so you can see my workflow. So I've, I've been lagging. Uh, a little bit on that, but I definitely want you to know that I'm going to do it. It's going to happen. Probably on my flight back, I'm going to be editing all that stuff straight on the plane. Um, but yeah, it's coming. I'll check him out for my Osmo 2. If you have an Osmo 2, you're definitely in a really good place. It all comes down to what you're doing. If you feel like you've plateaued and you want something with a little bit more control, definitely the Smooth 4 seems like it's a powerhouse in that regard. Um... Let's see what you should post editing. Which you prefer between Vimble 2? Uh, well, here we call it the, the Smooth Mobile, Smooth 4, and Smooth Mobile. Um, right now, I have to test this guy to be able to give you my verdict. But right now, I always carry my uh, Smooth Mobile and my DJI Osmo Mobile. I like the DJI because of the app. I like the Smooth Mobile because of the extension. Super powerful. But I might switch to this and the Smooth Mobile because of the extension. So... We'll see. We'll do that real life testing, and hopefully we can get we can get you an answer there. Uh, like I told you, I'm really still waiting on my Flow Motion one. Uh, we'll have it one day after that, probably. Uh, we'll move to Smooth Four. Totally, man. Love to try put addition to the package. Yeah, that's so useful. I don't know why it's it's seriously it's it's ten dollars more. You have a lot more footage, and it comes with a sweet tripod on it. 
Like I feel there's fantastic value all over the place. Um, yeah, I'm super hyped right now. I'm going to go to work and be like all hyped up. I'll be curious how it supports my iPhone 8 Plus uh, 202 grams. It will no problem because this will support up to 210. Um, typically what throws off the phones is the cases and stuff like that. But Moment just released on their website. And I also, believe it or not, have a link for Moment. Now, the reason why I'm dropping these links, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I want to keep everything. Hey, what's up, Deeks? I want to keep transparency. All these links, Amazon and uh, the companies that I that I use have reached out to me, and they throw a couple cents back at me if you were to pick something up. Um, I don't mean for you guys to go out and buy stuff. Absolutely not. But if you do need something and you find that the links that I provide are helpful, by all means, you'll be helping me, the channel. That's how I'll be able to do these videos, set some time aside, edit, and just be able to run the channel and, and, and take care of what needs to be taken care of. Um, what is Vertigo Shot? Vertigo Shot is the – I don't know if you've seen in the movies where you're looking at the subject and then the background's like moving up, but you're getting closer to the subject. It's kind of weird. It's like a weird effect. I am definitely going to do a Vertigo Shot in, in New York City. I, I have like five videos to do in New York City, so – I'm going to be demoing vertical shots. I'm going to be doing a comparison video of them three. I'm going to be doing uh, five reasons why I like this thing. I'm going to do in the editing video. A lot of work. A lot of work in the coming days. And I'm going to a wedding as well. So hopefully I can I can tackle all this. Um, totally wish this ship to South Africa since my house mobile 2 doesn't seem to be arriving. Oh, man. That sucks. Why don't you try reaching out to them directly, either DJI or uh, Zhiyun. Uh, they send it straight from China. I wouldn't be surprised if they send it straight to you. Um, I dropped the Amazon link. Uh, it's in the description after the video is uploaded. Um, but yeah, if you need if you if you need something, I would reach out straight to them. Um, can you give me one gimbal? I would love to. Um, as soon as I'm done with them, as I, and as I start you know, getting new ones and focusing on newer models. I'm definitely going to be doing giveaways. I did one giveaway uh, for a bunch of gear that I got at uh, PSX. So I'm going to be reaching out to the winner soon. Um, there weren't that many interested in it because it's gaming, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you will be interested when I decide to give away one of these gimbals. So it's going to happen soon. I can see it. <laughs> Sup, Teague, what's up, bro? Um, going to work soon. <laughs> Yes, uh, Nelson, I do have the anamorphic lens. It's coming. I cannot wait to be able to put this anamorphic on the tent and then put the uh, gimbal counterweight here because I want to be able to use the case as well. So Moment uh, has the gimbal. I dropped the link up there. If you guys were to need anything, uh, check throughout the conversation or at uh, my description. You'll be able to see all the Moment stuff, all the DJI stuff, all the Zhiyun stuff. Uh, if not, shoot me a comment when the video uploads, and I'll give you directly uh, the links for that. Um, I have asked DJI, and they can tell me why. Sadly, Amazon doesn't ship here. Oh, maybe it's a conflict soon directly. And see, yeah, I would reach out to them directly, man. Hopefully, they can help you out. Check out your comments later. Enjoy the Big Apple here. Some special Atlanta Cuba festival presented by the New York City Center. The festival which runs through April 28th. Oh, wow. So there's a... There's a Cuban festival. Ooh, I might go there and capture some B-roll. I'll definitely check it out. Thank you for the heads up, Jay. That's super, super useful. Because I'm going to be the 26th and 27th, so I'm, I might be able to catch a little bit of that and get some really nice food. Yeah, Nelson, I can't wait. I can't wait for that anamorphic lens. It's going to be so much fun. I was putting a part in Ikea. <laughs> That's awesome, Omar. Thank you. Guys, it is time for me to go work and provide the vegan bacon to this family because I don't eat meat. I don't know if you need to know that, but now you know me a little bit better than before. Thank you so much. Hey, man, where do you take uh, your inspiration for your shots, like angles, velocity, movement, et cetera, for movies? So I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I watch a lot of other creators. I'm not going to lie. A lot of people have even dropped sarcastic comments about me replicating some Peter McKinnon stuff. I adore him, Casey Neistat, and the big creators. I do, however, take a lot of inspiration from the Tarantino films and for fast, like, like I don't know if you've seen like all the the, uh, the Chinese movies or the old Tarantino movies where they zoom in super quick. I think that was the birth of that quick reflex zoom in and stuff like that because it's 
it's one of my favorite things. But as far as cinematic goes, I draw a lot of inspiration from from Tarantino type of style, a little bit more abstract, you know, kind of like lower angles and weird perspectives. I don't know. I just when I go somewhere, instead of just going forward and taking a photo or a video, I just stop and look at my surroundings and think, okay, the average human will take a picture from here because they're not photographers and not videographers and not thinking about it. So where can I take my photo that it's the same context, but just completely different perspective. So I often get low to the ground, high up or twist the camera. I, I don't know. I just stop and think for a little bit, but Tarantino films are, are definitely a big one for me. Like, like the quick, boom, boom, like Kill Bill movies and stuff like that. I really like that stuff and, and slow-mo. Um, a lot of 90s movies. I don't know. Stuff like that. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I got to go. Teeks, Ryan Teeks, 13GS in the comments. He works with me, and he's been in my videos. Go to his channel if you're a gamer. And if you're into Fortnite stuff, he is hilarious. I should do more stuff with him. But guys, tonight at 9 to 10, from 9 to 10, I'm going to be twitching God of War. So swing by, hang out, don't be a stranger. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all that fun stuff. Twitter, actually, Instagram and Twitter. Um, and as always, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hanging out. This has been a quick unboxing and first impressions of what the gimbal looks like. I will definitely bring more content from New York City. And if you happen to be on your car and you can't see these videos, I have a podcast.